the independence of the sea. <laughs> yeah, the, look at this long line. It just keeps on going. There was some well, computer glitch. Never, never experienced this. We're feeling um, worse than Disney. I'm thirsty. Back up again. And they still haven't delivered my duffel bag. Uh -oh. I'll call the fire department. We are waiting to get on the bus for the independence of the sea. You had a look. We're at Port Canaveral in line. She had a look to see which uh, which ship we're headed. Oh hi, that's Ruth, by the way. Sherry's mom. Say hi. And we are in a Radisson Hotel, Park Port Canaveral, we usually park. There's five ships here today, so they're backed up. <laughs> and you can see here, a really long line for boarding Wonders of the Seas. But um, hopefully that's our shuttle right there. Oh boy, hopefully. I'm not to wait any longer. But yeah, there's a lot of, it's a huge traffic jam going on where... Yeah, there's the Carnival Liberty, Wonder of the Seas, Independence of the Seas, Norwegian and Getaway, the Getaway. Wish are all here. So it's a lot of traffic. Yeah. Because of that, it's causing a lot of the onboarding. Well, really well hold slow. on. What happened was Wonder of the Seas was not supposed to be here today. They had a medical emergency this week, so they got here late. So they had to onboard and reboard today, which was supposed to be yesterday. So it's adding to all the other four ships that were supposed to be here. Today. And we were told that's an additional 8,000 people yes. to go through. I don't think it's four. eight. Maybe right, less than yeah. that? Four or five, maybe? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't Bottom know. line, it's a lot more yeah. than usual. So, there's a lot of traffic. So everyone's here is patiently yeah, waiting. We just got dropped off by the Port Canaveral port. And it turns out, look at this long line. These are the people who are waiting to get on the independence of the seas. Because I guess what it turns out is there's a, some sort of computer glitch problem and it's preventing them from processing all the passengers for today's voyage. Look at this line. It just keeps on going. We're trying to find the end of it. That's the same line just wrapped around. There was some well, computer glitch, so they weren't letting people on, and I think they just now started letting people on. So, what caused the computer glitch? They switched, they switched, they switched terminals. So this is normally a carnival terminal, not a um, Royal Caribbean. And I guess that caused a huge mess up, and it's causing this huge line. You see behind me. <laughs> All the way back there, and it just keeps on going. Wow, never experienced this. This is pretty bad. We're moving, but very slowly. I think we've not even. I don't even know. We barely moved. We were Look, over there. Like laying in the grass. Now I'm over here. So we moved uh, 40 people that started uh, just camping on <laughs> the grass. <laughs> A few minutes later. How are you doing now, but Still waiting. Giving the progress update. I think we're going to be here for two hours. How long have we been here so far? We've been here about 20 minutes. 30 minutes. And we moved. That far? So we're all the way back there. And now we're over here. I couldn't find sense of where we're at, but we have all the way that line over there <laughs> still go. But keep in mind that this line wraps around 
So, yeah. Yeah, it makes a little loopy. Right over there. See right there? It goes all the way around. We have to go all the way back. And it wraps all the way back to the building. Some of the workers here are saying that this is normal. I don't think so. <laughs> but, I mean, it's different than the experience that I've been because in the past, we just literally walked right in. Like, less than 15 minutes, we're on the ship. That dude right there on the balcony, he's like the only guy on the ship. <laughs> I guess you have to keep in mind that it's, you know, a couple thousand people trying to get on the ship all at the same time. It's 2.50, oh, it's 3 o'clock, and this thing's supposed three to leave at 4. And uh, this line wraps all the way around, and then goes further out to out there by the where the bus pick up drop off the so there's still more you can still sell a lot of more people down there they're only letting 35 people in to check in at a time that's why this line is so long that's why it just moves quickly and it suddenly stops yeah As if you're in that really long line in the Animal Kingdom for the by the passage ride. Right? Yeah, we're almost to the front. We're almost there. Almost there. But then once you turn around the corner, you can't see. There's like another 40 minute line. And we're supposed to be leaving at four. We're almost there. Yeah, but we don't even know if there's a line inside. Oh, look at that! It's like the airport here. It wraps around us a couple of times. Taking bets on um, when the ship is going to leave. It's supposed to leave at 4. I say 7. You say 7? 7. 7. What time do you think the ship will leave? 6.30? I'm going to say 8. See who, who's closest. Uh-oh. I'm call the fire department. Huh. I'm thirsty. What else? I'm expecting to be in this long line over the seat for something before we'll be. Are you tired? Yes. Are you sleepy? Yeah. You've been standing for over close to two hours now? My husband and his friend got off the bus and took all the bags. One eternity later. All right, we're through the door we're in the building, and there's more lines. A few moments later. So now we just we just got through the security checkpoint and another line to wait for. <laughs> this time to actually check in. They're having a, such a long line. They still ask people to take pictures. No, thank you. <laughs> We're good. And here's another line. Because I showed that guy this our pass and let us right in. No, you know what happened? They were worried there was purses laying behind the counter and they kept asking our girl, is this your purse, is this your purse? Gary said, Gary said, forget a purse, get us checked in. <laughs> yeah, it sounded like, like a free purse, right? <laughs> Opportunity to get a free purse, I don't know. And there's even more lines. Oh, I right see to the mustard station? Oh. Uh, mustard drill. Uh, now we have to bleep that out. Folks, he, he said he said bully. He said bully. We are finally boarded Independence of the Seas. How long did that take? Three hours. Three hours. So we got here around two. I don't think it took three hours. We're here. It's like no, four. We got here at one. No, no, no. I mean, uh, like the shuttle dropped us off here at the parking lot at two. Oh. Yeah. Where'd she positive. say go to the lot? Yeah. She's she's tired and delirious and hangry, so expecting her memory. But anyway, now we're trying to find the mustard station because now we have to do the mustard drill lot before it's too late. But we, oh, pardon me, but we finally um, got here roughly around two hours, maybe two and a half. 
Oh, you got it, huh? Oh, oh, oh. Push through. Push through. Alright, let's go. And we made it. We made it. Danny, you got. Oh, what'd you get? How'd you get a pendant? I never got a pendant. What? It's addressed to me? Yeah. I never got one of those. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that was a thing. What'd you get? Why did you pin. get that? I know, but did you get to the next level or something? I'm in the Crown and Anchor Society. Yeah, we both are, but... Heck yeah, I bet your mom didn't get one. Oh, <laughs> achieving platinum status. I didn't get one of these when I got platinum status. It's only for special high rollers. So just one. Oh, you get all these... The perks. I got 50% off Johnny Rockets, glass wine, blah, blah, blah. That's cool. A few moments later. Here we are at the Windjammer. Um, we quickly got up here from our staterooms. We're so hungry, we just quickly ate. But the thing is, we're gonna end up eating soon again. Here is a shot of the glitch. We just uh, came back from the Windjammer, and now we're back in our stateroom. We're probably gonna take a nap because uh, Sherry's not feeling well. And you know, both of us were really tired, having to stand in a really long line for most lying. of the day. Plus, spending most of the time driving towards the, uh, Port Canaveral. You know, we just went to the Windjammer, had a grab bite to eat. Thing is, I, I ate so much, I'm like debating if I should even go to the main room. She is unpacking right now, and she's probably gonna go to the main dining room and have dinner, probably in like in a half hour. But me, I'm not sure yet. Trying to see if I get my second wind. <laughs> I might skip the main dining room. You know, wait so late because, you know, it's, the line took so long to get in on the boat, on the ship. So, so it is roughly around eight o'clock and they still haven't delivered my duffel bag. So I'm getting quite nervous. Hopefully they didn't lose my luggage. Last cruise, it was my luggage. Yeah, last cruise it was her luggage that they almost lost and they end up delivering it last minute. Might be the case for my duffel bag. We're going to uh, guest services to see if they can help. But hopefully they didn't, they didn't lose it. Uh, and yet there's another line to get to guest services. Let's see if I can get a bit of view of the line here. Good news, folks. They found... My duffel bag. Hey, here it is. The so, tag fell off. Yeah, so it turns out the tag fell off and they had no idea where to deliver it to. So customer service just held on to it. So I just had to go in uh, over there and just pick it up. So feeling a heck of a lot better that now I actually have clothes <laughs> and uh, all my other toiletries. For a second there, I was sweating bullets. I'm like, oh man, I'm not to do this entire trip with just one set of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you would have thought we would have learned our lesson the last time that brought spare clothes in our carry-on. Yeah, now that I could fit in my bag, it's so stuffed with electronics, but I don't know if it's going to show up because it's so low light, but man, look at that beautiful shot of the moon, a little bit of the ocean, calm little breeze, it's nice, very calm and relaxing. You gonna say something? You are. <laughs>